Hi, hello my lovely students. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. So today in this class we are going to continue our same lesson of maths from your part 2 textbook that is decimal fractions. So open page number 35. Page number 35, chapter 4, decimal fractions. So children, already we have started this lesson. You know that. So you will get all those previous videos link in my description box. Just go and check it out. Okay. So in the previous class, we have learned conversion of fractions to decimal notation and we have solved some of the examples from your textbook, right? So, today we are going to solve the examples from your exercise 4.2, okay? Going to write the following fractions as decimal fraction. The same method we have to use. First, if you see 8 by 10, 8 by 10, how you are going to convert this one into the decimal form? You know that it's very easy, right? So, so can we do it here only? Yes. So 8 by 10. So we'll write numerator 8 as it is. If you see here 10, how many zeros are there? 1. So let's put 1 here. I mean the decimal point after 1 digit. So here, do we have any number? No. So let's write 0. 0 0.8 is your answer. Now 7 by 10. So 7 by 10, what is your answer? The numerator first from right side. Then how many zeros? 1 zero. So after 1 digit put the decimal point. So do we have any number with the 7? No. Let's put the 0. So 0 0.7 is your decimal form. Next same thing. Will you do this here children? So what will your answer? Hope you know that. That's 0 0.6. Right. Very good. Now come to this one. Okay. So 16, po 16 by 10. So we'll write this decimal as 16 as it is. Next. In the 10 how many zeros are there? 1 0 is there right so we have to put the 1 yes we have to put the decimal after 1 digit so let's put the here after 1 digit so what will answer 1.6 is the answer now in the same way 42 so we'll write the 42 as numerator as it is now how many zeros are there in the denominator 1 0 is there so let's put the decimal point after 1 digit so 4.2 is your answer the same thing here 83 by 10. Will you tell me the answer here fast? Yes, 8.3 is your answer. Very good. Now come to this one. 7 by 100. How you are going to write this one? 7 numerator as it is from right side. How many zeros are there? 1, 2. So here we are having only one digit. Let's write the 0 here. 1, 2. So put the decimal point here. Do we have any number? No. Let's put the 0. So 0 0.07 is your answer. Right? Now 72. So here 1, 2, 1, 2. Then do we have any number? No. What do you have to write? 0. So 0 0.72 is the answer. The same thing here. 861. So here how many zeros are there? 1, 2, 1, 2. Yes. So here 8.61 is the answer. Got it? Now turn the page. Come to the page number 50. Let's continue the same mean. So, 162 by 10. So, let's write in the decimal form. 162 as it is we have to write. Then how many zeros are there? 1. So, where you have to put? After 2. Right? From right side I am telling. Right? So, 16.2 is your answer. Next, 141. How many zeros are there? 1, 2. 1, 2. So, what is your answer? 1.41 1 is your answer. The same thing. Let's write the denominator as same. 1,461. 1,461. So, here, where you have to put the point, I mean decimal point, after 2 digit, where? After 6, from right side, right? So, 14.61 is your answer. Yes, now you come to this one here, 13. Come to the 13th one, 1 by 2, yes. So, how you are going to write this one? Let's solve it. So, children, I hope this is visible to you. So, it is 1 by 2, right? I hope, so I think we have solved it, right? That is 1 by 2 in the this one. Yeah, here it is. There you can see. We need to solve it, right? Once again, 1 by 2 already we have solved. So, we got the answer what? 0 0.5. Okay. So, we will write here 0 0.5. Now, come to this one. 3 by 4. We will take another. That is 14th one here. That is what is your answer here? 0 0.5. Okay. Now, 14th one. That is 3 by 4. Now, let's do this one. 3 by 4. I think 3 by 4 also we have done where here in the example right 3 by 4 if you see in the 3 by 4 what we got the answer here 0 0.75 right so we'll write here as a 0 0.75 isn't it 
if you see here so let's take one other example that is 15 we are going to take here if you see in the textbook so 15 where is the 15th here here 2 by 5 hope you are we didn't solve it earlier yes already we have solved this one the first example if you see here right 2 by 5 so we got the answer 0 0.4 right so if you see here we got the answer as a 0 0.4 already we have solved here okay you just go through this Okay, so we'll write the answer as 0 0.4 here. So, what was uh, the question here? 2 by 5 is equal to 0 0.4. Okay, children 13, 14 and 15 already we have solved in the explanation video. Just go and check it out. Now, we'll take the 16th one. If you see the 16th one, so what is our question? 7 by 20. So, we didn't solve this one. Yes. So, 7 by 20. Let's do it here. 7 by 20. Now, here if you see this one we have to convert this 20 into what whether now you have to think here okay because we didn't know we have to either we have to convert into the 10 or to 100 we have to think if you see this number it is 20 it is more than 10 right it is more than 10 and if you goes on multiplying this number we didn't get a 10 here this is also you have to think okay but we get the there is a chances to get the 100 right we didn't get the 10 so now the question we have to convert this 20 into 100 not to 10 so let's do it here 7 by 20 now you have to take the same number as numerator as denominator when you multiply the denominator we should get what we should get denominator as a 100 right so now which number we can take here if i go with the number 5 okay i'll go with the number 5 so 25 is a 25 is a 100 right 21 is a 20 22 is a 40 23 is a 60 24 is a 80 25 is a 100 so 25 is a 100 so same i will write here so 7 is a 35 so let's convert this one into decimal form 35 so how many zeros are there 1 2 so after two digits we have to put the number sorry decimal point then do we have any number here no so let's put the zero so 0 0.35 is your answer so we'll write your answer here the 16th answer is that is 0 0.35 right so now let's take the 17th one example that is 38 by 50 okay yes 38 by 50 if you see the denominator now you have to think whether we have to convert into 10 or to 100 if you see if you multiply this 50 with any number you do not you didn't get the 10 there because if you see this both the number the 50 is greater than 10 right if you multiply any number with the uh, 50 you may get 100 so you have to convert this 50 into 100 now so how you are going to multiply this one so 38 by 50 into okay now which number i can take if i take 2 you just take the simply 2 here now 51s are 50, 52 is a 100, right? Are you getting? So let's write here 52 is a 100. Now, here also we have to multiply 38 into 2. 38 2 is a 76. Okay. Now you have to convert this one into decimal form 76. Then two zeros are there. After two digits, we have to put the decimal point, then zero. So 0 0.76 is your answer. Okay, got it, children. So we'll write here 0 0.76. Now we'll take the 18th one, 17 by 25. So we'll write 18th here. So 18th question is. 17 by 25 if you see this number it seems very easy right 17 by 25 but actually it is easy yes so now you just think this number now you tell me we need to uh, we need to get the denominator as 10 or the 100 yes 200 how by which number we can multiply we can multiply by 2 if you multiply by 2 25 ones are 25 25 twos are what 50 we need what we need 100 right so 25 3 is a 25 3 is a 75 right? 25 4 is a 100 right so 25 we need to multiply with 4 as new uh, denominator as well as a numerator now you multiply this both 17 4 is a what 17 4 is a 68 by 25 4 is 100 now you just need to convert it so 68 will write as it is now you have to write the decimal where after two digits so one two
2 then 0 so 0 0.68 is your answer got it so we'll write here 0 0.68 right now we'll take the 19th and the 20 what we are going to do here children you just pause the video try to solve this 19 and 20 at by yourself then continue the video and just try to see your answer with my answer if it is correct then well and good if it is not don't worry just try to solve some more problems you will be get perfect in that okay so just do it so children i hope you have solved it okay so here is your answer the first 13 by 20 is equal to 0 0.65 here we have multiplied with 5 to get 100 and here 8 by 25 is 0 0.32 we multiplied both the number with 4 to get the 100 here and here 32 32 by 100 is equal to 0 0.32 is your answer right so hope you have done it correctly okay so children in today's class we have solved exercise 4.2 2 in that first main that how to convert from fraction to the decimal form so in the next class we are going to continue with the next concept of this lesson that is from decimal fraction to uh, fractions okay so till then take care of yourself be with me and if you found this video is useful to you then don't forget to like share with your friends and do subscribe the channel thank you